I am Polotol from Polotol.com and I'm gonna show you tonight that Total Annihilation Command Attack works for the Mac. Well, first of all, it's my website, all kind of cool stuff, lots of games, DAS, Amiga, MSX games, but especially Windows games. And I'm gonna focus at the moment on a specific game, Total Annihilation Command Attack. Well, you can uh, go on several ways to the game page using the game ports or the game ports plus Mac games link or here on the blog clicking on the here button but when you for example click on here uh, you have to go to the strategy games because it's the strategy game and then you can navigate below to uh, total annihilation and you have to refresh And I forgot to put that there. <laughs> so it will be there under Total uh, Annihilation and Kingdoms. It will be uh, also for, uh, below, above there, it will be a commander available. But uh, to be quick, uh, we can just click on the blog page too, and then we go to the game page. Um, if you don't own the game yet, you can get it from GeoGeeTocom. I really advise you that version because uh, it contains, uh, as you will see here, uh, contains Total Night and both expansion packs, the core contingency and the battle tactics. And um, yep, yeah, works awesome. And the only thing you have to do is uh, just click a chart and then uh, you can create an account. Well, here, every time I forget to log out so let's go back let's try it again so what you have to do is click on add chart and then you can create an account up here uh, enter your username email address or if you have already account just log in with your your own account um, same for uh, for if you want to click just uh, to create an account you can also click on here Log in, sign up, and then you can uh, here sign up for a GUG account, and then uh, fill in the stuff, click create account, and then uh, you're up to uh, get those games running on your Mac. So, um, in this case, click Edgar, buy, and then uh, you will go to your game page, and then uh, you just uh, download the, the, the game and then uh, it will be downloaded on your uh, download folder so and then of course you still need a wrapper which you can find in a download tab up here just click on download and then the download file will appear TA commander and then you click save and then after saving uh, well it will appear in your download folder same as for your game which you downloaded from GUG.com. Um, then you just double click the wrapper. Ah, no you don't because uh, you don't have it on the desktop yet. So first double click the DMG file, click agree, click skip, and then the uh, only thing you have to do is just move the wrapper to the desktop like this. And then drop it in here and it will copy the wrapper to the desktop then um, it will be on your desktop like for me it's already is then double click it click install windows software click choose executable and then navigate to the uh, to the game which i have on my desktop already in my game installers folder and then command it back well and then the installation will start yeah, it will uh, do the integrity. For me, I already tested it, so I know that one is just fine. Um, you can well, select it, don't create a box, it really not really necessary. Click start it, and then it will install. It'll take a little while because uh, 1 2 gigs will be quite fast, but installation take a little while, so be right back. Well, we're almost at the end. And you click Exit Installer. And then you can click on uh, the main EXA file, which will be Total A EXA. 
Eh, click OK. Eh, click OK. Quit. And that, that should be it. Remember that you use ScreenFlow, it's the program we use to capture this video. It doesn't handle the resolution change, so you will probably see this in the corner up here. Uh, but remember that you will see it, the game full screen if you play it yourself. So uh, let's double click it and see what happens. Oh, first time it might be that nothing happens. Well, then you just double click it again and then it should start, as you can see. Well, then the intro starts. What began as a conflict over the transfer of consciousness from flesh to machines escalated into a war which has decimated a million worlds. The core and the arm have all but exhausted the resources of a galaxy in their struggle for domination. Both sides now crippled beyond repair, the remnants of their armies continue to battle on ravaged planets, their hatred fueled by over 4,000 years of total war. This is a fight to the death. For each side, the only acceptable outcome is the complete elimination of the other. Right. Uh. All right. Well, this is just a warning, but uh, I ignore that because uh, it's not a native diary text we use. Well, you can just, uh, well, do whatever you want. Let's see, I didn't test the multiplayer, by the way. Well. So, uh, I only tested the single player. New campaign. Uh, yeah, whichever you want. Click on arm. Start. It was near the end of the war, and after four thousand years, the core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, well, let's have some action here. It just works just native Windows. It's awesome. Go to that base. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the art. <laughs> well, it's the first mission, so. <coughs> so. Well, then you can go to the next mission, you know how to start, blah, blah, blah. Well, mission two. And then you have to build more stuff. Like, uh. You can uh, go look on stuff. And so on. Well, I gotta quit. 
Hard work, quit. 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 Hard work, quit. Both orders. I think you have to need to use the F1 to F10 key. But, uh. Hard to chat. One. Is there something here? Attack! Well, anyway. Uh, I think you need to uh, use the F1 to F5 or something. F5. Wow. Anyway, I will come out for you with the uh, with the game. That will quit it immediately. But it should be F1 or F2 or one F F1 to F2 uh, section. So in that case, make sure you have uh, set the F1 to uh, F10 keys in your uh, in your Mac options. So uh, in that case, what you have to do, and I'm gonna show you in a second. Yeah, that's because of uh, <laughs> my uh, my keys. I uh, I did. Uh, okay. I don't want to use iTunes now. So in that case, what you have to do is make sure you set the F1 to F10 keys. So what you have to do is go to keyboards and then use this one, F1 to F10, as standard function. So use that if you want to play the game, and then you can go to the menus, etc. So. Enjoy the game. See you back on Polytolicon. If you love the work I do, you can always donate to my website and become a premium member as a ball artwork. And uh, yeah, spread the word and see you back on Polytolicon. Bye bye.